Hi everyone, today's from Turtle Dove. Welcome to my channel. I thought I would just make a couple of cards with you today. Um, there are two birthdays coming up. There's a lot more, but um, one, um, my youngest granddaughter, she is turning two this Wednesday. It's Monday as I'm recording. Um, so I thought I would make her a really pretty birthday card and I'm also making a birthday card for Martha from Granny Martha's house. She is having a birthday giveaway so I will tell you more about that when I make her card. Hopefully this won't take too long. I've picked everything out that I want to use and yes so I'm going to start with Ida, my youngest granddaughter who's turning two. She's really cute. <laughs> um, so yeah, I thought I would make her a unicorn card. And I always buy pre, um, well, coloured cards, you know, made up with envelopes. I'm useless at making envelopes. Um, so yeah, I just have an assortment of colours, there's more behind me, so that's what I do, just to make things easier, so I've got the base to work with. Now, with the the unicorn, I used a 6 by 6 sheet of paper and just cut that in half. I'm going to make like a little flag banner on top of that card, and this is uh, the craft stool. And it's unicorns themed and mermaid themed. It's really pretty. The fairy in there as well. And I don't know what you call that. It doesn't have a name. So, yeah. But anyway. So, I almost was going to use this side here. I decided not to. Okay, so let's get on with this. So it's going to be pretty simple. Um, I've already marked where I want to cut. So I'm just thinking, should I cut the back or not? You know what? Where I've marked that point, I think I'm just going to fold that back. I may cut that off and I may not. So it's just a cut down. So yeah, we'll be seeing Ida next weekend because her other grandparents are coming down from New South Wales and they'll be busy during the week. So I think um, my son and his partner decided to have something for our side of the family at their home. Okay, and I'll have a straw as well. And I'm going to place that in there and then cut it down. But before I do that, I might decorate the banner, which is going to be pretty simple. I've just got a star. Actually, no, I'm going to stick it down first. Okay, let's do this draw. So, I haven't made some cards for a while, so I'm just going to eye it and cut that down. And I'll keep that other end for another time. Okay, make sure all the good sides are showing. So I'm just going to stick that down and you know what I'll cut that bit off at the back. You're not going to see it anyway. It's a very rainy day here in South Australia today. I just heard my garbage bins being emptied by the truck. 
so I'll have to go and save that because it's not too windy. It was windy last night and I always worry the bins are going to fall over. Okay, so let's go leave that down. I actually should have heated up my glue gun, but actually this one's almost empty, so I'll use this one here. I'll go through this fabric glue so quickly, but it's good because it's thick and it does dry fairly quickly. So let's just glue that down nicely. Put plenty on the straw. So the straw doesn't move around. I don't want that slipping out. And stick that down. Just got a bit of overlap there. Okay, that's a bit better. So this is going to be pretty card. Actually, my oldest granddaughter would love this too. Right, now I'm going to put the pom-poms on the top and the bottom of the straw and this is where the hot glue would come in handy. I'm going to put the, put the, yeah, put the bigger one at the bottom and the small one at the top. change my mind I'm going to do that last because I want to do some stamping inside okay let's put this star somewhere I have three stars and this is going to match her gift wrapping I did a gift wrapping ASMR video wrapping up um, Ida's gifts so should I put three or two actually I think I'll do that I think that looks pretty like that. Yes. And there's the little one. These are quite simple. And then I have this flower. Should I put the flower on somewhere? Let's just cut this wire off and have a look. Maybe if I put the flower on the top, no, that's going to look funny. No, I think I don't feel comfortable with putting the flower on. So I'm going to leave it pretty simple. So now I'm just going to stamp. You know what, I'll do that off camera. I'm going to stamp a happy birthday and then created by me, of course. So I'll put that in the middle and then I could even put another star inside. So that's what I'll do there. But I'm not going to mess around with that now because it's just going to smear the ink. Okay, so let's just put these little pom-poms on. put plenty of glue and then I'll just let, set that aside and that can that can just um, dry for a couple of hours and then I'll stamp and finish it off 
and there's something else I want to put on there. Now really, I need the hot glue for this. Otherwise, then that way, if you'd use a hot glue, you don't have to wait so long for the drying. So, okay, so that's going to look really cute. And I'm going to finish it off with this pink. I'm going to finish it off with a little pink flat-backed jimmy. I'm going to put that right there. It's going to drop it wherever it wants to fall. Okay. I think that looks really cute. And when it's dry, I made these so long ago. These are just little paper clips embellishments. And it's a unicorn, and I'll just put a flat back jemmy on there with some of this eyelash trim and a little bead. And that is going to just sit on the side of the car card. I can't talk this morning. I think that's going to look beautiful. So that's her card. I'm just going to put that behind me and take that with me. Martha, Martha's card. So I made these embellishments a while ago. I've got a pot of them and I found this in my stash as well with an envelope. So this is what I'll be sending Granny Martha. Now let's see just quickly. I will leave the link to her giveaway video in the description for you but she's having a birthday giveaway it starts on the June the 16th uh, right through to July the 31st and all she wants is a card so um, I will leave that link below for you so do go and watch her um, video she's got all the details there for you and she's left her address in her description of that video as well. And she is such a sweet, lovely lady. Um, so yeah, I'll be sending her a birthday card. Unfortunately, I won't be able to partake in a lot of um, challenges um, for the next few months because postage is just getting ridiculously expensive and... I have noticed even um, challenges now, a lot of them don't like inter international entries because I don't blame them because, um, you know, postage is just ridiculous. So it's just getting harder and harder for me. I'm not working and I don't mind sending cards, um, but even that's getting expensive. That's $3.50 just to send a flat card. So... Um, but yeah, this will probably be my last for a little while. As I said though, if they're cards and I can afford it at the time, I will be happy to send a card. But as far as anything else goes, I'm just going to have to lay back for a while. So cost of living's going up, food's going up, everything's going up. And I think it's the same for everybody, wherever you are. Um, yeah, so it's unfortunate. Um, if I was working it would be different but I'm not working at the moment so that's just unfortunately how things are so plus I'm I've got a lot of projects on the go just for family and friends and um, I've got a dozen butterfly ornaments to make for my sister for Christmas and that's going to take me a long time. I'm in the middle of uh, knitting a scarf for my daughter. She's put in an order. Um, she would like a scarf for her birthday which is in August. So I started that last night. I'm doing a lot of reviews for different companies with diamond paintings and such. Since I uploaded videos on my big 
diamond painting which I purchased myself um, just inundated with companies asking me to review their products and of course I'm going to say yes um, because I'm trying to curb my buying as well but having said that hubby did spoil me with another diamond painting and that's probably the last one that I'll buy this year um, because you know a few months before Christmas I always think of that and yeah that's where any spare money goes for Chrissy presents and things like that so isn't that nice you may have seen me um, showcase these in a video in a project chair video that I did I've got a whole lot of this this is like a little ticket booth it's so cute I love it and then I've got this one here filled with joy with a heart and I'm going to place that in the side and that is that's it that's the card it's got to be kept flat I would if it was in Australia I would be putting a lot more on there some gems and all sorts and layer it up but I just can't I've got to keep it to as flat as I can or they get suspicious so but I'm happy to send Martha this birthday card Should I put it? I'll put it on this side. And then I'll stamp this one because this one isn't shiny and then it's going to soak straight in without hopefully smearing. Right, I did want to put this somewhere as well. I'll do that last so let's stamp this one and hopefully I won't make a mess of it I like this little square because it's got lines on there and you can keep your stamp straight it's just like a guide so I'm just going to put that in the middle and this is a waterproof ink ink on three blackout detail ink I'm not that good with stamps but I do prefer making cards now the only time I won't make a card is if I, I've left it and I don't have time ok let's cross our fingers Yay! It worked. I always get nervous because you can ruin your whole card. In fact, that's probably the reason why you should do that first. Here we go. Happy birthday. I've got that there. And let's stick this. I made these a while ago as well. And this one's quite flat. I'm going to put that right there. And hopefully that should be flat enough to send. I had to take my phone out then. <laughs> You know what, I'm going to leave this out because I'm scared it's going to be too um, too bulky. So let's see, can I put anything else there instead? I'll be right back. Okay, these are reasonably flat. So um, these were gifted to me. And I'm just going to where oh I know where put them on the top 
of that ticket box. Here's the dark pink, and they're not very sticky at all, so I'm just going to put a little bit of glue on there. One, one more. I'll just spruce it up a little bit more. And I think that looks really pretty. I would be happy with that card. Sometimes less is best, I guess. It's really hard for me not to layer, though. I love that. And I can put my little message there. And I think I'm going to use one of these little heart stickers. And put that on the inside as well. Yep, they're sticky enough. And I'm going to... one in the middle like that. So that is Granny Martha's card. Okay guys, so I am going to knit today and well after I've cleaned the house <laughs> I'm going to knit and then I'm going to do some more diamond painting. So yeah you'll see a bit more diamond painting and reviews for a little bit and yeah, I haven't been paper crafting much at all because I just haven't had time with all the other crafting that I'm doing. I've also finished a project that I'm doing together with another a YouTuber which uh, will be hopefully sometime in July. So that's coming up. I've finished my project. I've just got to film uh, the end result. So stay tuned for that one as well. So do remember to go and check out uh, Granny Martha's house, the video for her giveaway if you want to join that. Thank you so much for watching everyone. I do appreciate all your comments and views and your support. And I hope you have a wonderful day or night wherever you are. Look after yourselves and we'll see you next time. Bye for now.